What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a sketch illustration of Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Now you want to begin today's lesson by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. So we're going to start at the very top, right in the center. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom of our page. And I'm just using these short lines to create this line, rather than trying to do this with one continuous line. Let's go to the center of the page and draw another guideline going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left, and then extend that out towards the right side. Now I want to use these lines to help us create a circle. From this point, let's step up and mark off the top of our circle with a straight line. And I'll take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking this distance over towards the left, marking that off, and then going all the way over towards the right. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect each of these points with a curve. So we start with the top left. So we go all the way around. Now this circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size. I can always go back and just re-modify the shape if we need to. So I'm just smoothing this out. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's go to the side of our circle, draw another straight line coming down on each side. And then along the bottom of our circle, draw another line going across from left to right. And now we want to create a gap in between the eyes. So from the center, let's move over towards the left. Just going to mark this off with a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Let's take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I'm place the top of the eyes just underneath that center line. So we're going to step down, draw a line going across. Now I'm going to draw two large circles on either side for the eyes. From this point, let's step down, just lightly work around the bottom and then back up. Let's draw that same size circle on the right side. Now along the top of each eye, I'm going to draw an oval for the iris coming down just up above the bottom of our circle and then bring that back up towards the top and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's continue blocking out the facial features. From these two points, we're going to draw on the eyebrows. We're going to angle these up and out toward that center line on either side. And it's going to slope this down and out towards the side of our circle. Now we're going to add a guideline going across the bottom of each eye. Just coming in towards the middle, then out towards the right. And then from that center point, we're going to draw a diamond coming down towards the left and right. Now let's pull this down and in towards the bottom of our circle. Now from this bottom point, we're going to step down, draw a line going across from left to right, just to add a guideline for the mouth. And then from the center, step down, draw a short line going across the lower lip. Now from the bottom of the lip, we're going to step down, just mark off the chin with a short line. Now we're going to go out to the side and add some shape to the head. Let's start from the side of our circle. It's going to angle the head, coming down and then in towards that mouth line. And do the same thing on the right. Now from the jaw, it's going to angle the head, coming down and then in towards the chin. Let's go back to the outside of the eye line, draw on the ears. Curve this around and then back in like a half circle. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll continue blocking out the neck and shoulders. From the jaw, let's step in, draw two lines coming down, one on the left and one on the right. Now on the left side, it's going to curve the collar, coming down underneath the chin and then back up. Let's go back up to the top of the neck, slope the shoulders, coming down and out. Now the top edge of the hairline is going to sit just underneath that circle. So we're going to step down, bend this across, and then down toward the left and right side. And now we want to add some volume for the hair. Let's start over on the left side of the head, 
Curl this around and up in towards the middle. Curl this around and bend this back in on top of the right ear. Let's go over towards the left side. It's going to curve the hair going out and then down toward that center line. Now we're going to add a point, curving it around and then out. And I'm just going to pull this in on top of the left ear. Let's add another point, starting from the side of the head, curve this down and then out. Come down and in towards the side of the head. Let's add one more, starting on top of the ear, come down and then out and then pull that back in. Now I want to take these two curls and flip it over on the right side. So let's start on the side of the head, put this down on top of the ear, and then out, and pull that back in towards the side of the head. Let's add that smaller point on top of the ear, come down, and then out, and bend that back in. Now I'm going to place that mask on top of the head on the right side. From the center point, let's step out, curl this down. I'm just going to bend that out on top of the right ear. Let's go back to the top, round out the mask, going out, and then pull that back down on top of the ear. Now halfway along the outside, starting right here, curl this out, round out the muzzle, come down and then in towards the bottom. Let's go to the top of the muzzle, draw a straight line coming in. Now I'm just going to add some basic shape to the eye. From the side, step in, curve this up and across toward the top of the eye. Come down and just bend that back out. Let's add a circle in the center. Now I want to continue this curve going up toward the top of the ear. Then it's out and then down on top of the head. Let's draw that same shape in behind. Stepping down, curve this up and out. Come out and back down. Let's add the nose on the tip of the muzzle. Draw a straight line coming in. Curve this down and back out. Now from the bottom of the nose, we're going to step down, curve the mouth. Going in and then down. Now along the bottom, we're going to sketch out an oval. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, let's add a second level of detail. We're going to start by adding some hair along the bottom of the head, starting from the jaw, curve this down and out, and just tuck that back in. And I just want to mirror that over on the right side. Doing the same thing, let's add one more point underneath, going in behind the shoulders. Let's go to the bottom of each ear, draw a straight angle line coming down and out, and draw the bottom, stepping up, draw a straight angle line. Now from the sides, angles down and out, and close off the bottom. Now at this stage, we don't want to go too dark because we want to give ourselves a chance to modify it if we need to. Let's add some shape to the eyebrows. Start from the top, we're going to bend this in and down. Just curl up the inside of the brow on both sides. And now we're going to add some shape to the top of the eyelid. Start with that top curve. And then bring this in and then down along the inside. And the same thing along the outside. Let's trace out the iris. I'm going to add a little bit more shape to the bottom of the eyelid. Let's add a small circle in the center of the iris, the pupil. And then along the bottom, it's going to add a curve going up and then down. Now we're going to trace out the bottom of the iris with a curve. I want to go back and lightly shade in the top of the iris going around the pupil. 
and it's coming down along the bottom. Let's add a fold across the top of the eye. Now along the bottom, I'm just going to add in the nostrils. Two curves going out. Add a curved shadow on the left side. Just pulling that back in. And then adding the mouth along the bottom. I'm just going to bend the mouth coming down along the corners of the mouth on either side. And adding an upside down triangle underneath the chin. And now we're going to add some more shape to the head. So I'm going to round out the jaw. And just pull that in towards the chin. Now I'm going to add some more shape to the hair. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to add some points. Going out, pulling this up towards the top, bending this in and up towards the point. I'm just going to curve this back down toward the top of the hairline. Now I'm going to continue to add some layers going in towards the mask. So let's start down here, bring this out, coming across towards the middle, and then bend that up towards the point, bend this down, and then across. Let's add one more layer, going up, and then across. I'm just going to close off that side on the left. And now we're just going to continue to modify the shape of the hair on the outside. It's adding a little bit more shape to the hairline. Now we're going to add that scar over on the right side of the forehead. I'm going to add the basic shape first. And we'll go back and add the details. Just adding the little points going around that guideline. And now we're going to add some more detail to the mask. Starting along the inside of the ears. And I want to add a thick trim around the eyes. Now we're just going to add some basic detail to the neck area. Starting with the collar. And once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go in and add some more detail and refine the shape. So we're going to start with the top of the eyelid. I'm just going to commit to these lines. Just darkening them up. And we can continue to modify the shape, make the adjustments if we need to. Just adding some thickness to that upper eyelid. Now just adding some folds across the top. And then trace out the outside of the iris. Darken up the inside of the eyes. Just go around that center circle. And just going to move over and do the same thing on the right. Again, just adding some thickness to that eyelid.
moving up and adding some thickness to the eyebrows. And a little bit thicker along the top point of the eyebrow. I just want to taper that in towards the inside. Tracing out that shadow across the nose. I'm just going to add a cross hat shadow pattern inside. It's going from left to right in an angle. And I'm just going to add a shadow across the top of the left eye. Coming in and down towards the inside. And again, just adding that same cross hatch pattern. And darken up the mouth on the corners and just fade that in. And now we can always go back with a side edge or pencil and just darken up the inside of the shadow areas, just smoothing them out. And now we're going to move out and start adding some more shape to the head. Adding some definition to those lines, coming in towards the chin. start adding some detail to the earrings. Just tracing out the contours first, and then we come back and add the details after.
and I'm gonna go in and start adding some contrast to our drawing. Darken up the back side of the hair along the bottom. And I'm also going to add a shadow line across the top of the neck. So it's coming down in the middle and up towards the right side. And I'm going to add that crosshatch pattern along the inside, starting from the left and just working our way across. And then again, we can use the side edge of our pencil to smooth out that shadow. I'm also going to darken up the inside of the shirt. Just adding these vertical lines going across from left to right. back and just smooth that out. Now with the hair, we're going to add a little bit of a shadow along the bottom. I'm just going to start by tracing out the contour first of that shadow, adding a little bit of shape, so a couple points along the inside, and then just shading in the bottom area. Just going to continue that shadow going up towards the hair, towards the top, and we'll shade that in. Now I want to repeat that process up across each layer. Got some points coming down along the side. I'm just going to go back and just do the same thing on the right side. I want to add a shadow line going across the bottom of that mask. So we curve this down and then back up and it'll add a light shade across the bottom. And as we get near the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.